You can pick up a computer at just about any big box store these days, but should you? In today's Compute This, the advantages of shopping local and buying modular. Thor Schrock returns to explain the difference. Good to see you, Thor. Good to see you guys. Thanks for having Listen, me. Listen, modular, we've talked about modular computers before, yeah. but explain exactly what is a modular computer and how does it... And, and should you be getting these things from a big box store? Yeah, it's this little sticker that we put on the front of everything we build that says modular. <laughs> right, that's yeah. all it is. That's, right? all, that's all it is. It's, it's a, a sticker. sticker. No, but there's no, some, no, deep... some people believe that though. Some people are like, oh, it's just a gimmick. You know, it's just like a, a, a turn of phrase, you know, that kind of thing. Like HP used to say, we're making the personal computer personal again. Mm -hmm. And you're like, really? Really, HP personal, that doesn't sound, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. But uh, so no, the modular computer is a computer that's designed to grow and be upgraded with you as your needs change over time. My first computer was a modular computer back, I don't know, 2000, mm -hmm. uh, somewhere around that area, and I, uh, I had a friend build it. And when I wanted to upgrade my hard drive space, I would go get this new hard drive, yeah. pull the old one out, put the new one in and on the back of the computer so you can switch out components. Yep. It's basically essentially what it is. Yeah, right? it's very much what it is. And you know, back like you said, you know, 17, 18, 20 years ago, you know, not that you're that old. No, but, no, no, no. You know, we've, I think we've already hey, discussed okay. that. Yeah. But, uh, but no, you know, back in the day, it wasn't so uncommon. I mean, that's how computers were. Yeah. But now there's a new trend that's coming called chip on board. And it sounds that, really cool. What's that mean? Chip on board, right? It means tablet. Hmm. You know, think about your tablet. Okay. Everything mm -hmm. is baked into that one board. Yeah. It's, it's all the chips onto one board. And you take that board and you turn it sideways and you screw it into a computer, mm -hmm. into a, a big box of air, yeah. and all of a sudden it's a desktop. Right. And you take that board and you turn it on its side and you put it in a little housing and now it's a laptop. Hmm. And so it's this chip on board architecture that everything's going to where there's nothing is replaceable. And you don't like that. You, well, you can't add anything to it. You yeah. can't change the memory. You can't replace the processor. Because it's all into that one chip. It's all on one board, yeah. So if the board goes bad, you throw the board away. And the argument is, well, the boards are so cheap that you would just mm -hmm. buy a new board. Mm -hmm. You know, it's no big deal. Yeah, the boards are cheap to manufacture. The problem is if you call HP and say, I need a replacement board, they'll charge you $400 for the board. Well, by the time you have someone put it in for you, mm -hmm. you may as well buy a new HP, right? right. And that, that's the point. So basically what we have now is a, is a life cycle system. And it, there's always been this joke that, you know, oh, wow, you know, everybody buys a new computer every few years right. anyway. I don't know why we don't they're put any money into it. almost disposable yeah. now. Exactly. And so that, that's where everything is. They're trying to go with that. But what mm -hmm. people don't account for is the, the, the cost of ownership when you move your computer. So you have to transfer your data and then mm -hmm. are all your programs compatible with the new version of the Microsoft operating system that was different from the version you had before? Yeah. And so on and so forth. So there's a lot of add-on cost that nobody considers that if you're just gonna go buy a new computer and you're gonna go buy the, the $500 computer and you bring it home, they don't even have power supplies anymore. It's a laptop power adapter mm -hmm. that runs the whole computer. It's a desktop. Mm -hmm. So it, it just, it's just mind-blowing. So when you get a modular computer, it's a whole different ballgame, different components. So if some part goes bad, some part fails. You can take that part out. We can take that part it. out and put another one in. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. And so then our computers, as opposed to lasting 18 months, are going to last more like you know four to six years. Mm -hmm. Our holiday specials last up to 10 years. Wow. Wow. So it, it, it makes them last longer. It saves you money in the long run. And honestly, it's less downtime. So for businesses mm -hmm. especially, it's a really, you know, it's a really sweet deal. Yeah, one of the things we've talked about in the past are the hard drives. And mm -hmm. there's been a conversion to these solid state yeah. hard drives. Explain what that is and how that's different from the previous hard drives. All right, this is like the, this is the conversion between, oh, how far back do we go? Uh, this is the conversion between eight track tapes mm -hmm. and MP3s. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. because, you skipped a few steps there. Well, wow. no, we've had hard drives since the 70s. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, I mean, they've been around forever. And yeah. now all of a sudden we have this new technology that doesn't have any moving parts. So when it, when it works, it works incredibly so eight, fast. Like, for example, an eight-track tape, it had the tape in there that would spin around <laughs> and it would read on the head, right? I've got, I've still got some mm. of these eight-tracks. Yep. But then when you went to an MP3 player, it was all digital. I had someone ask me if we could get a USB eight-track player the other day. A USB eight-track player. To That'd hook be up cool. to the computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do they have those? I could not find one, no. <laughs> That'd be cool, I'd like to have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> no, Stick so, in my language. Well, the, 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 the solid-state drive, though, it gives you the ability to, to save things much faster. So right now, the hard drive is the bottleneck in every computer you have. Yeah. So like your 8-track player, you don't have other parts reliant on the 8-track, it just plays music. Mm -hmm. But imagine now that your 8-track player was, uh, was loading a program into your computer. It would take forever to mm -hmm. load that program. Mm -hmm. So with a solid state drive, boom, in and out, six seconds to boot a computer from power button to ready to rock and roll. Um, so that's why over at Schrock now, all of our computers come with solid states. All of our desktops, all of our laptops, we're the only the only computer seller in Omaha to do that, I think we're the only one in the nation to mm -hmm. do it, but you know, I don't want to, I don't know everybody in the nation, right, right. so. <laughs> 
But know. where do you get the solid state hard drives? Do you have to get it at Schrock or can you get it online? What do you recommend? Well, yeah, you, we buy the same solid states everybody has. We like the yeah. Samsung drives. Yeah. When we go over 500 gigs, we only like to use Samsung because they're the most reliable at that, mm -hmm. that capacity. In the smaller capacities, the SanDisk drives are great. Um, the Samsung ones are good too, but they're a little pricey at the lower, the lower capacities. But basically, we, we get an Asus laptop from Asus and we take the laptop and we say, this memory is slow memory. So we take out the memory. Mm -hmm. And this hard drive is a slow hard drive, so we take out the hard drive. And then we put it in fast memory and a fast hard drive, and all of a sudden you have an amazing machine that you it's can't a, buy anywhere right, else. Right, it's a different computer. Yeah, but the thing is, eventually laptops are gonna all go chip on board too. Mm -hmm. And when that day comes, it's gonna be challenging to find a computer that you can replace parts and, and improve the machine, basically. You're gonna get what you pay for and you're gonna use it until it's gone and dispose of it. Mm -hmm. So while you can still do it, you really should look at getting a computer that has some capability to grow with you because everybody buys computers for what they're doing right now. Mm -hmm. They don't think about what they're going to be doing three or four years from now. Yeah, when you think about modular computers, if, if you're in the market for one of those, how do you go about ordering one of those? Do you just... It's very complicated. Uh, well, I, well, it could be because <clears throat> a lot of people don't know about all the specs on these things. That's true. You know, in fact, uh, we have a new website we'll be rolling out here in the next couple of weeks that'll allow you to actually buy them on our website at schrockinnovations.com. It's not there yet. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, you can come into the service centers. We have three locations. There's, they're on the screen here coming up, I believe. You know, if you, uh, mm -hmm. if you right. put those I've on the I've done my right job, Thor. Thank they'll you, be thank there. You. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we have three locations that you can come to. You can also give us a call. We can price them over the phone for you too. But uh, when you go to a box store and you look at a computer and you come to Schrock and look at a computer and you realize that the price difference is nothing, mm -hmm. if maybe a little bit, but not much, if anything, um, and then you can get the solid state drive, that's what wins people over. I'll tell you what, you know what's gonna win people over is when you invent that eight track USB port. <laughs> I want one of those. All Put right, I'll, I'll get on that, Mike. Eight track right into the computer. We'll That'd get a nice. Kickstarter going for that. Absolutely, thanks. That's I what I want, it. Alba. Uh, an image that truly